So a quick uh, example of how to calculate this balance of the fluids and the feeds. So a premature baby born at 29 weeks, 1.2 kilo birth weight, had respiratory distress syndrome and is on non-invasive PPV. Uh, the baby had UVC inserted on day one and started on 80 ml per kilo per day of starter TPN uh, with the lipids at 2 grams and oral colostrum care when the colostrum started getting available. By day 2, the baby was on 100 ml per kilo per day standard TPN with lipids and was started on trophic feeds as extra at 10 to 20 ml per kilo per day every 4 hour feeds divided volume. By day 3, the uh, baby was on 120 ml total and the feeds went to 20 ml per kilo 2 hourly. That's the same volume but you divide it over 2 hourly feeds plus 100 ml per kilo per day of TPN and lipids. And day 4, this started incre increasing. As I said, even though this baby was 1.2 kilos, we went by 20 ml per kilo per day being a sicker baby. And uh, the TPN would be 100 ml as the total fluid is 140. On day 5, we have 160 ml total fluid. Feed reaches 60 and the rest is TPN and lipids. By day 6, the total is still 160. We started increasing the feeds by 30 ml per kilo per day as the baby is more stable now and is tolerating the volume till then and the rest is TPN. By day 7 we have reached 160 to 180 so if the weight gain is not good or your sodium needs additional fluid or if there is no signs of PDA we can go up to 180 ml. The feed goes up to 120. We have started adding HMF at half strength to the feeds and this will be the final day of TPN. Uh, by day 8, the baby reaches 150 ml per kilo per day. You were giving close to 180 the previous day, but here we can stop at 150. When the baby reaches 150, we can uh, remove the central line even. We can make it full strength HMF. And by day 9, we can increase to 160-170 ml. Or we can give clear fluids uh, either through the central line or have a peripheral line uh, to reach that 160-170 the previous day itself.